Well, good morning, my friends. We're taking off from Brussels today. We're heading back first to Iceland, then to the United States. If you're wondering why I have a tourist hat on, it's because about 10 minutes after I went out to get night footage last night, it started pouring rain, and with 50,000 people walking the streets with umbrellas trying to decapitate me, I finally decided to pull off, grab a hat, because I was afraid I was gonna get pneumonia. So that's why I have a tourist hat. Look, we're getting to see some Brussels road construction. <laughs> anyway, we're heading off to the airport. We're gonna fly out of here in about two hours. Head back to see my little buddy, Ja. I cannot wait to see Ja. All right, Lionhearts, hope you guys enjoy this trip. Now today is a travel day. Let's go. Days with Jordan the Lion begins now. I'm definitely gonna miss seeing buildings like these. And we're catching the train out of here over to Brussels Airport. I saw this statue and I had to come take a look. He has a gold sword and a gold mask. Isn't that great? Love that stuff. And I love that building look also. Now unfortunately, well now we gotta definitely go. Goodbye Brussels. I like the outlooks of that one. Got some nice statues playing guitar right out front. Right over there. And that one, I like the front. Buying our ticket back to Brussels Station. Almost nine euro. As you can see, it is really busy in here already. It's 9 a.m. and people are coming and going. This city, most of Belgium pretty much operates on the trains and tram systems. It's pretty efficient too. Looks like we just have one more stop. Now I gotta scan my ticket from the train over here to get into the airport. The heart of Europe. I gotta take about three more of these escalators up to get to the departures. Aren't you guys glad that I'm doing the traveling and not you? I have 14 hours ahead of me. But hey, it was a small price to pay to hang out right there in Ghent. In fact, right where this picture would end, right here on the corner, on the side that we are standing on, that's where my hostel was. And that's what I could see every single day when I looked out the window. All right, I did the pre-check in, so I should be good. I should be able just to walk to my gate. You know, the funny thing is that I've had a great Christmas that's not even Christmas yet. Christmas isn't for a couple of weeks. We're spending Christmas in Ohio this year. All right, well, my flight boards in like a little over an hour, and we're on our way back to Iceland, back to Los Angeles, back to the Joster. Well, I had like six euros left, and I went to the currency exchange to exchange them, and the lady started laughing. She goes, we charge four euros just to do the exchange. So I went to the chocolate shop and bought um, almost every penny I had in chocolate to bring back. <laughs> and now security. All right, we made it through security. They had to check one of my bags, and would you like to know what it was that they confiscated? My hair glue. My hair glue. They said that the package itself was too big. Now the hair gel was, it was pretty much almost gone, but like Joey Diaz said one time, if you're under 40, you're too young to be super gluing your hair anyway. So I said, go ahead, take it, we're out of here. 
Oh my God, look at that chocolate tree. Oh, get me out of here. Out of all the chocolate that you guys have seen me buy on this trip, I haven't eaten one bit. I'm bringing it all back. For some reason when I travel and do these travel vlogs and stuff, I never am hungry and I get stuff in the countries because it's well known, but I'm not actually wanting it, so I'm just gonna take it back. And there's the rocket ship. See you later, Santa. Time to board. And lucky for me, it looks like I have two window seats for these two flights, unlike the first time. Usually I do, but the last time I didn't. I might as well get an apartment in Reykjavik at this point. Many times I've been there this year. Well, let's go again. Let's hope this experience on WoW this time is better than when I came back from Sweden. We would also like to ask you to please play so. All right, ready to rock. Well, pretty typical for WoW Air. This time it's a, uh, it had something wrong with the flight and it's over an hour and we still haven't left. But it's, every single time I've flown with them, it's always something. Two hours later. See the big chunks of ice out there in the water? We're just about to land in Iceland. And all that solid land over there is Iceland. So we're actually cutting it super close. When we land, my flight takes off in like 10 minutes, but they said that my flight to Los Angeles is one of the five out of like seven or eight that is actually going to wait for everybody to get on. So I kind of lucked out on that. on a rush to get to the next plane. Oh great, we're not even at the terminal. Well, something weird's going on. I just passed like five cops and one of them stopped me and said, what flight did you just come from? I said Brussels, since I was one of the first ones out and he uh, 
he immediately started running towards the shuttle we got off of. So I don't know if something happened on the plane or what. This is customs, yikes. All right, I should be in good shape. They let me, uh, they scanned my ticket, so now I just have to find where I'm going. All right, I'm on the uh, the bus, and if you guys were wondering, it's negative three degrees here in Iceland. I kid you not, I rushed to this plane, and an hour and a half later, we're still sitting here. I kid you not. Still a couple of more hours, unfortunately. Landed at LAX. All right, we're back, and I know for sure that I am way, way overdressed. It is uh, like 64 degrees out, and I just realized the uh, the days of cobblestone streets are over. Oh yeah, we're back. I don't know how I feel about it, but we're back. Yep, we're definitely back in Hollywood. People are talking to themselves on the streets and it's not just me. All right, good evening guys. While I'm home, I just did a live stream with you guys. I ran out, had a meal with my friend, and now I'm just, I think I'm just wiped out. I'm tired and uh, I know this probably wasn't the most eventful vlog ever, but some of you don't ever get to fly or get that experience. I figured, you know, why not just once make a travel video? So there you go. Um, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoyed it. You know what we're doing tomorrow? Ja, 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 ja. Good night.